Welcome back to What Hearty Nibs for General Disturbance and this is an M53, M55 and well in actual fact it's an M55. The reason I know that is it's carrying a very short and fat 8 inch howitzer. Uh, this is the M55 which only carried that and of course it was used by the US Army. It was first designed in 1952 and came into service in 1956. Uh, two versions, one which was the M53 went to the US Marines and the M55 version went to the US Army. Now this particular one has a Union flag on the side. That's because it's being commanded by TC Freer of Philo. And he's fighting on Durpenberg, otherwise known as Erlenberg. And you can see that lovely turning turret. Uh, pivoting turret which gives us a wide field of fire. But it also means that uh, it can carry vents. So this RT uh, is also one of those favoured by many people who uh, like the American line. Apart from the M44, the 290, uh, the M53, uh, M55 rather, is uh, quite a favourite. Okay, this is just a standard battle. And the enemy RT, also an M53, 55, has been seen. Round out. Lands near him, overshoots, but uh, it stuns him, and he picks up some stun assist. Right, a T-49 is scouting on that hill near the uh, house. Quite a usual spot for people to scout. Although I tend to favour the reverse side of the hill that TC's on, because you can get some good views from there. But uh, up near the house, there's a mountain as well. And he's about to get an 8-inch howitzer through his side. Rounds out. Oh, it went right in. Direct hit. He's going to be smarting now. He's not going to be happy. Okay, there's an MX CDA. And we just saw an LTTB disappearing. And there's that T49. He's doing handbrake turns at the other side of that hill. Showing off his speed. Um, and trying to confuse people as to where he is. Oh, there's a tree went down there. Somebody's there. The TC's moving a bit further up. He needs to get a look at the targets. Also, being on the reverse side of the slope actually does inhibit your ability to hit certain targets the other side. Okay, we've got an SDRV S1, that premium Swedish wedge. And there's that AMX CDA. Oh, he's wiped him out. 245 hit points. That was a direct hit. Oh, but he's been seen! And he's been seen, I think, by the LTTB over near the farmhouse. Yes, there he is. That's awkward. Okay, he's trying to shoot at TC. Now, TC's got a reload of 33.9 for this particular um, uh, RT. It should normally have 30.5 um, uh, seconds if it's the 155 version, the M53. But... Uh, if you're using the 8-inch howitzer, its reload will be 45.2 seconds. Wow! 511 hit points there on the LTTB, but he does get hit F by the FV4202 in return. Loses 233 hit points from that hit. Yeah, I think he was just getting a little too close and that FV4202 decided he was going to punish DC. There's a huge bunch of... Uh, of uh, TC's uh, team right below that FB4202 so TC is guarding their side and waiting for that 4202 to poke his head over the top he's moving up now TC can put the round into him whoa right into his rear and he set fire to him and he's got him that was a kill he got him for a 1114 hit points with the initial hit 18 chance of shell went right into the rear of that FB4202, set fire to him, and then he burned to death for 286 hit points. And I don't know what's got into TC, but he's now gone into shotgun mode, and he's really angry with the enemy. Wow, he's moved up, even though the enemy's now behind him. There's an LTD behind him and the T49. He's lined up now on the Oho, round out, and it was close hit. A close hit, but he's now got 33 seconds before he reloads. There's the Oho. No, I 
think he's going to go after him again. I'm not sure TC is in the slightest bit worried about that T-49 being behind him. Effectively, the enemy controls the west side of the map. But uh, all the action appears to be on this side. And TC's team are doing very nicely. Because it's 11 to 5 at the moment. That means there's only four enemy left. TC's locking onto the Oho with a manual lock. He's not going to overhead. He's going to shoot him manually, shotgun style. He's dialing in, just looking down the sights. Oh, he's gone to overhead now. Going after the Oho. No, this is going to be right down the side of the house, round out. Oh, it went right into the side of the house. 116 hit points. It'd be really nice, actually, if Wargaming could engineer it so houses would just literally vaporise and turn into a huge heap of rubble whenever an RT does that. Because that's exactly what would happen. The, the house would disappear. It would be just a huge cloud of dust. Okay, we've got three enemy tanks. And it's the only three enemy tanks remaining. An Oho, a Malshan, and the third one, which is an SU-12254. And they're all in the same spot. So TC can hit all of them at once. Okay, he's hit the... He's got 235 hit points out of the Oho. Now, will he get some stun assists off that? Everybody's coming south except for the ones who have gone up to the cap to... And they're capping. I think they're just trying to put some pressure on the enemy. Make it absolutely certain. They can always pull out of the cap if necessary. Oh, the oh has gone down. Now, what about this Malshan? He's lining the shot up, dialing in the aim on him. He can get him. Okay, now he's loaded. He took his eye off the ball there for a second, and he's lined up, and he gets a direct hit right on the front of the Malshan. 309 hit points, that's pretty good, and stun assist. Now he's marking the spot, because he's lost sight of them temporarily, but there are three tanks closing in from different directions. That Malshan is going to come under pressure from a lot of tanks all at once. He's being hit from both sides. He doesn't know which way to turn, so he's backing his way to the uh, down the slope towards the river. And the, the SU-122, well, he's trying to defend himself. The Martian managed to take out the T-34-3. But a massive hit there for 458 and some stun assist immediately afterwards. Um, that Martian hasn't got long to live. 217 hit points left. He's backing away to the river. He's trying to use the slope to conceal his position, but it hasn't helped, and he's gone. Now, TC is 13 seconds from reloading. The SU-12254 is hiding behind that building, but he's just taken out the WYSI-111. But there's more than enough uh, uh, allies of TC alive. Now, he can probably hit that SU-122 with splash. And he does, and he takes him out. Only four hit points, but that was more than enough. And that SU-12254 is no more. Now, what a game that was. Yes, I think actually TC was very right when it came to uh, this. Never show your posterior to, I won't use the word, uh, to an M5355. That FB4202 really paid the price uh, by actually showing his rear to TC uh, after trying to put a shell into him, or managing to put a shell into him. And of course, he burned to death for, the, for doing that. Um, TC managed to get a win 8 of 4718 on that battle. That's a pretty effective uh, game in anyone's book. If we have a look at the uh, details, well, he actually uh, uh, got a mastery badge second class because you have to work really hard to get a, 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 an ace tanker in the M55. Um, he also got the arsonist for burning up the FD4202 and he picked up a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got 14 in that one. On team score wise, well, he got 3,300, uh, 3,534 hit points. He was the highest amount of damage on his team. And he also managed to get second place when it came to kills with three, um, which was the FB4202, the CDA, and the last one, the SU12254. Uh, when it came to base XP, he was third with 936. Uh, he was pipped at the post by the WYSI-111 and the T26E4. When it comes to detailed report, well, he fired 11 rounds, got 6 direct hits, 6 penetration, and 6 splash. He did 3,534 hit points of damage, of which 2,134 were at more than 300 meters. He received 1 hit from the FB4202, and it did penetrate. Uh, but he hit 7 of the enemy and killed 3 of them, and did stun assistance of 1,423 
of 10 uh, stuns. On a premium account, TC managed to earn 49,844 credits and there's a holiday ops bonus which is not showing here. But after repair of his vehicle, resupply of his ammunition, and ammunition is kind of expensive for this vehicle. You are looking at, uh, uh, let's have a look, it's um, 1,120 um, uh, credits per round. Uh, but obviously it's more expensive if you use premium ammo and TC did have some premium ammo and he also had uh, um, because premium consumables as well. So we actually suffered a deficit, a loss of 19,269 credits for the game, but it was a very good game and he did earn 1,404 XP and it was times two and there's a holiday ops bonus as well. So he took away 2,808 XP in total. So really good uh, battle, but the, you were completely correct. Never show your posterior to a, an M55. If you do, you're likely to get absolutely smacked. Um, yes, well and truly. Um, it was the surprise um, butt sex of the worst possible kind uh, with an 18 inch shell. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this replay. If you did, please give it a like and do subscribe to our um, channel. And hopefully, it'll be your replay that we'll be featuring in our next video.